why, why, why do narcissists intentionally trigger you? I'm going to tell you in this video, so stay tuned. Hey there, so I'm Rebecca Zung and I am a narcissist negotiation expert. I am a lawyer and I'm an author. And in these videos, I teach you how to powerfully shift the dynamic and turn the tables on narcissists. If that is something that you wanna do, I invite you to subscribe to this channel and hit that notification bell. Okay, so narcissists, they like to prod you, they like to poke you, they like to, oh. They just want to get under your skin all the time. They do it on purpose. Why do they do it? You know they do it on purpose. Why do they do that? Well, there is a short and simple answer to that. They want the narcissistic supply from it, okay? I mean, it's why they do everything that they do. So let's reel back. What is narcissistic supply? For those of you who just starting with that, with this whole thing, you maybe haven't watched any of my other videos in the past. Let's talk about what that means. So narcissists, they have no sense of self. Okay. They have no inner sense of value. I haven't actually said this in a while in my videos. So they're, they're like that hollow chocolate Easter bunny. They look kind of nice on the outside, but there's nothing and going on on the inside. And so to have any feeling of value whatsoever, they have to kind of layer it on and how they layer it on is something called narcissistic supply. And so the way I look at it is there's like different kinds of supply. And so supply can be, oh, you know, the, the nice things in life, you know, which there's nothing wrong with by the way, you know, like money and prestige and big houses and great, you know, jobs, being with the right people and status and all those things, which there's nothing wrong with in and of themselves. But, you know, then there's this dark underbelly of what I call narcissistic supply, which there's definitely something wrong with, which is trying to make yourself feel better by pushing people down, like controlling people, devaluing people, debasing people you know, bolstering yourself by pushing other people down. So those are kind of the various ways that they get narcissistic supply. And they delight in getting supply by triggering people. It's a way of controlling you. They enjoy seeing people squirm and seeing people be intimidated and all that sort of thing. So that's, that's kind of one reason why they enjoy triggering you and seeing you that way. And in a negotiation setting, there are a number of reasons why triggering you can be beneficial to them. I mean, it's not just seeing you squirm. It's not just seeing you fly off. I mean, there, there, there actually can be a few other reasons for it as well. And it was actually well demonstrated in the Netflix miniseries called I Care A Lot, which actually I did a whole video on it where I broke it down, which you can definitely check out my breakdown of that miniseries. And the main character was a woman who was supposed to be, you know, taking care of these elderly people, like as a guardian, she was talking to this older woman, there was nothing wrong with her. But of course, this woman, the woman who was like the guardian would get paid if there was something wrong with these people. So she goes to this nursing home. And she's talking to this woman, and she purposely triggers this woman, like she whispers things in her ear to like, get her angry. She purposely triggers her. She purposely says things to her. So it's not just to get supply from her, not just to see her squirm, not just to get delight, not just to laugh at how funny it is to like that. She's like, so, you know, out of control, but there's another even more sinister reason that she did that. 
because there were cameras watching. So this, she's like whispering things in this older woman's ear. And so what happens? The older woman stands up. I don't think she stood up. I think she just reached over and started choking the guardian, the woman. And there's the camera watching. So then she was able to catch her and trap her. So another more sinister reason that narcissists intentionally trigger you is because they're able to make you look like the crazy one then. And they're actually able to then make you look like the bad one and use that against you, especially if you have some sort of litigation going on, you have some sort of potential court action. Now they're able to use that. And that's what this woman did in this, in this show. And so you have to be aware of that when narcissists are, you know, intentionally trying to trigger you it's so hard, it's so hard sometimes because they're, you know, they really do know what your trigger points are, especially if they've known you for a long time. You know, if it's been a romantic relationship or it's a family relationship or if it's business partnership, you know, something where the person has known you for a long time and they've had the opportunity to get to know what your weak points are, they know how to trigger you. And so they'll know what to do, what, what to say, you know, even in this situation, like in that show, like she didn't even know, know her that well, but she knew what to say to get that woman to like try to choke her and um, you no, know, and then she takes it right into the judge. She shows the judge and the judge is like, oh, clearly this woman's a danger. She needs to stay in this place. Clearly there's something wrong with her. Yep. Mm -hmm. Another reason they try to trigger you is so that they can catch you and trap you, make you look like the crazy one, make you look like the emotional one, make you look like the one that the judge should be looking out for. And please, please, please always remember that every text, every email, every writing, everything you put your hand to is a potential trial exhibit. So don't get triggered. Don't take the bait. They want you to take that bait. They're dying for you to take the bait. So be careful of that. So, you know, number one is to get supply from it. Number two is to go do into doing something. Number three is they just, they literally get a high from it. They, they get off on it. They do. Yeah, I know. It's super sick. And if you agree, it's super sick. Give me a totally in the comments right now. Yeah, totally. So sick. I know. Number four the reason why they intentionally trigger you is they want to know sometimes they just want to make sure that they still have control over you. They want to just check if they still have that power over you. Do I still have you in my little web? Do I, do I still have control over you? Oh, yes, I do. That's number four. Just a little check-in. Let me see if I, if I still do. Uh, so sometimes they, they intentionally trigger you for that reason as well. So don't take the bait, do not take that bait. And if you are negotiating with narcissists or with anyone, feel free to grab my free ebook. It's my free crush, my negotiation prep worksheet. It's at winmynegotiation.com. totally free 15 pages, all yours for free. And you are also invited to join me in my free private Facebook group, Narcissist Negotiators with Rebecca Song. And if you like this video, give it a like, give it a share, drop me that comment and subscribe to this channel and hit that notification bell. I'm Rebecca Song. I am so glad that you stopped by this channel and I am so glad that you are here. And remember that today is always a great day to start negotiating your best life. And I will definitely see you in the next video. Thanks so much.